A third way that we can produce a list is by slicing it out of another list. So this uh, operation of removing part of one list and creating a new list from it is called slicing. And the way that you indicate a slice of a list is by uh, indicating a range separated by a colon. So the, um, this range is numbered starting with zero, as is typical for Python. And the thing that is somewhat odd about ranges, and this will um, be something we'll see several other places, is that in Python, the end of the range is actually one less than the ending index. So for example, if I say I want the range of items in the list from one to four, well, we start counting with zero. So orange is item one, banana item two, lemon item three, lime item four. But even though we said we want items one colon four, we actually are only get, getting items number one through three. This seems like a somewhat odd behavior, but that's how ranges work in Python. The result of this slicing operation is itself a new list. And so uh, it's a new list object which could be assigned to a different variable. I mentioned earlier that strings are basically like a list of characters. And so if we want to slice a string into pieces or take, take parts out of it, we can use the same kind of uh, notation here to indicate what characters we want out of that string. So if I take the string Mississippi and assign it to this variable a word, then if I say I want a word square bracket one colon four, that means that um, the range is from one to four, but the slice is going to include characters one through three. And since I start counting with zero, character zero is M, so characters one through three would be ISS. So let's go ahead and take a look at doing some slices here. So here is a list, uh, our list of fruits in a basket here. If I say I want items one colon four, that should give me items one, two, and three, and we see that it does. There are some abbreviations that we can do for slices. So for example, if we want to slice from the beginning, we can just omit a zero and just say colon four, and that will give us the items starting from item zero and going up through item three. So again, it's one less than the last number. If we want to slice from a particular item all the way to the end of the list, then we can leave off the last number, and that just simply means go to the end of the list. So if we say two colon, that starts with item number two, which is banana, and goes all the way to the end of the list. We can also uh, indicate the starting position relative to the end. So if we want to start two positions from the end, we say negative two and then leave off the number after the colon. It'll go from two from the end to the end, and that gives us lemon and lime. In this cell, if I compare these two expressions, we see that the first one is printing an item from the list, and this one is printing a slice from the list. If we have the Python print the two, they look similar because they both simply say apple, but I can see that this item here is a list that contains only one item. And if I want to check that out, I can ask Python to tell me what the type is of the item. And if I do that, you'll notice that the first one is a string, but the second one is a list. I mentioned that you can also slice strings. So let's try this example. If we are getting characters 1 colon 4, that actually produces the character number 1 
2, and 3, which would be I, S, and S. And we see that that is what we get.